He knows uranium and gold. He's the CEO of Gold Mining and UEC. Amir Anani, always good catching up with you. On our two favorite yellow medals. On right? our two favorite yellow medals. I know you've been had a very busy summer. Two new acquisitions since we last spoke in March at the PDAC. Yes. Let's talk about the state of mining. We're at a mining conference here. Uh, does it look healthy to you? Well, I mean, first of all, we're definitely, in my opinion, not seeing um, a, a big rush by generalist investors coming and showing up at this conference and wanting to write checks and, you know, it, it, that doesn't exist. Mm -hmm. And so we have at, at this conference that you and I are at right now, a great attendance, great turnout. But frankly, it's uh, uh, many of the same companies, the majors are here, which is a great indication of their interest to want to see what the juniors are up to. But a lot of the mining focused investors are here. I think that speaks to the fact that sentiment hasn't yet recovered to the point of this being anywhere near a bull market for equities. And when that happens, we're going to see generalists, we're going to see a much broader participation from the investment community at a conference like this. Um, until that happens, I think we'll, we'll, we'll just have to uh, see how things played out. And maybe there's that lack of conviction that this is the beginning of a major bull run in gold. So, I mean, I, so you think we saw the bottom this year? Perhaps. I mean, obviously, it's... Uh, I believe we have. It's been difficult to read gold because I'm also one of those people who I think went on an interview with you and said, if Trump wins, we're going to see a <laughs> yes. rally in gold. So, yes. And I'm sure many other people made that call. Uh, and so it, you, it's, you, know, it, it, you put that in perspective and say, to some extent, I just continue to look at the fact that you've got the stock market at all time high and everything is priced to perfection. And there are so many issues in the U.S., in the world, and any, many variables could play out that puts the Fed and puts the government in a very difficult position. They've backed themselves in a very difficult position. And from here on, um, I think it's silly for someone not to be exposed and but have insurance with gold. for risk on assets, though. Well, it is, but to some extent, and if tax reforms, if the debt ceiling in December, so many different key developments in the next three or four months don't, perf don't work out to perfection. Right then um, I, I, it's going to be very difficult to sustain uh, the, the kind of equity market rally that we've had, which is the second longest bull market in the history of America. And you would look at, again, all the issues and, uh, and, and, and the fact that Congress has been unable to pass one meaningful uh, uh, sort of resolution or one meaningful kind of uh, accomplishment since uh, this new administration came in. I'm just not sure how you could put all your eggs in that one basket and say that this, this continues on gold. Uh, is the ultimate insurance at a time like this. And my gosh, like people need to be strapping on more insurance, in my opinion. Amir and Nani, thank you so much for joining us. I look forward to hearing more news from you. My pleasure. <laughs> thanks for joining us. And thanks for watching our coverage here from the Precious Metal Summit. We'll have much more for you on Kitco.com. Stay tuned. Thanks, Amir.